On Thursday night, the transfer window will be closed until January, and your team will be stuck with the players they've got now for at least half the season until January 1st when the transfer window merry-go-round starts spinning once again. It's like the Christmas day of transfers, as you wake up all giddy with excitement and full of hope, only to be disappointed when you end up with Peter Ron and Wingy on loan instead of the Alexis Sanchez you asked for. So if ahead of deadline day, let's take a look at 6 things you can expect to see. Number 1. Harry Redknapp hanging out of his car window If you always watch Sky Sports News' coverage of transfer deadline day, then you'll know fine well you're going to see all Harry hanging out of his car window at some point to discuss some wheeling and dealing at whichever club he's at. The Redknapp window shot has turned into a massive deadline day cliche, and one you're definitely going to cross off your transfer deadline day bingo slip. The gaffer is currently in charge of Birmingham City in the Championship, and could be in for a busy final day of the transfer window, with Redknapp admitting that he's barely touched his allocated transfer budget earlier in the week. We've seen the Cockney geezer involved in some great deals over the years, most notably the one that brought Rafael van der Vaart to Tottenham from Real Madrid for 8 million quid, and don't be surprised to see him link with some of his old friends, such as Benoit Asukotu and Nico Kranschkar. He's probably got all the lads on speed dial. Number 2. Waking up to a huge new deal We all love a surprise gift, something totally out of the blue that you didn't know you were getting, which is exactly what it's like when you wake up on transfer deadline day and see some brand new potential moves that you never dreamt could happen. With so many big players looking to get moves away, such as Alexis Sanchez, Thomas Lamar, Philip Coutinho, Virgil van Dijk and Ross Barkley, then we could see some real shocks come Thursday morning. Back in the summer of 2014, Manchester United provided the big shock as they launched a final day loan bid for Adam El Falcao. Then in 2008 it was Manchester City who used their newfound wealth to beat Chelsea to the signing of Samba star Rubinho for £32.5 million. Number 3 Fake Rumours Now that we're deep in the age of social media, the fake rumour is easier and more dangerous than it's ever been. With the reliance on Twitter, where most people will be tracking the deadline day festivities, it's so easy for a fake rumour to slip between the cracks. All you have to do is pick a random player to move to a random club with a realistic fee, and then use the right club specific hashtags and there's a chance your rumour could get some traction. However we are 100% not condoning this, there's enough fake news around as there is. Number 4. Fans Outside The Ground Sky Sports News deadline day covered was probably the birth of this, as fans gathered around the reporter and the TV cameras to get the news as quick as possible and get their pretty little faces on the telly and provided some great moments, as you saw the joy in fans' faces when they were signing a player. Of course, just like all good things, it was ruined by swearing on live TV and waving profanity in the face of the reporter, and the fans are no longer allowed on camera. However, that doesn't stop them going to the ground, you'll still see them at your local stadium or training ground, they just won't be on the telly with their big bag of dildos. Number 5. Loads of Loan Deals with the frantic pace of deadline day and so many fresh deals appearing out of the blue, it can be difficult to get a permanent transfer done, especially with all the clauses and add-ons that you find in transfer deals nowadays. So what's a quick way to get around all this on deadline day? Loan deals. You'll see so many more players leaving their clubs temporarily because it's the only way they could possibly get a move due to time constraints. If a club is desperate to get rid of a player, then they'll farm them out on loan on deadline day as a last resort rather than keep a bad egg or an unsettled player within the ranks. And number 6, deals going beyond the deadline. You'd think a deadline was in place for a reason, meaning any deals that weren't done before the clock strikes midnight, or whatever the closing time is, can't go through. If Asda shuts at 5, I can't turn up at half 5 and get my loaf of bread, I'll have to wait. But now rules are in place that if you have a certain bit of paperwork submitted before the deadline, then you can work into extra time to finish off the final details of the transfer. We saw this happen in 2014 when Danny Welbeck joined Arsenal from Manchester United, with the Gunners confirming the signing subject to the completion of regulatory formalities, and expect to see more of this on Thursday night, with deals not officially going through until the early hours of September 1st. Just pray your team has a better fax machine than the almighty Real Madrid. So those are 6 things you always see on transfer deadline day, let us know what you expect to see and who your team will sign in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.